everyone, I wanted to give you kind of an overview of everything we're doing from online learning. I know this is a new adjustment for everybody, but we will definitely get through this together. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm available through email, through Dojo, or can create a Zoom message for you as well. So the first thing we always go to is my pilot page. This is what the kiddos have been using all year. They're familiar, they know how to get to it. The link padlet.com slash Ms. Vitali slash fourth grade is also in their agenda, but they all know how to get here. Typically on this page, you will find our homeroom page, science, social studies, math, language studies, reading, writing, and additional resources at the bottom. At the top, you will find our new online learning notebook that I have made. This is what I specifically want to focus on. As we go through each week, I will update the week that we're on here, on our blog, and in the notebook. But the notebook is where it's going to have the most information that you need. Go ahead and click on the notebook. Students will have to log in through Office 365. They know how to do this, but it is also in their agenda. When you get to the online notebook, you will come to a welcome screen. This will kind of tell you the overview. Students have their own pages. I can see everyone, as you can see on the side, but they will have access only to their pages. You have a content library, which will hold information for everyone, and a collaboration space. I'll go ahead and show you where everything is. There's also an FAQ page if you need any assistance that I cannot help you with. When you go to the collaboration space on the left, the first thing that you will find is project ideas. After our first Zoom meeting, the kiddos had some really good ideas, so I thought I would make a page. They can all write on this as well. So if you think, hey, I wanna make another project at home, go ahead and type your ideas here. So you can add whatever you would like to this page. Here I will look at ideas and then I will create projects um, either for that week or the following week as necessary. But as of right now, the kiddos said they wanna make a sway project, so that will be in the works for week two. The second area that you can go to is the content library. When you go to the content library, you will see an online learning page. This is going to be the online learning overview page. Here's where you're gonna find additional resources. There's my YouTube channel that you can click on. I'm working on our novel study, Poppy and Rise, so different videos will be uploaded for each chapter and content videos of how to do different strategies, especially when it comes to math. Also my Padlet page, this is where we originally started. You can still click on every single subject page and go into each unit for specific resources. Also on the bottom, there's the Cobb County School website. This is where you will find any updates about school being closed or open or anything you need. Our Blackwell website, this is good for parent links. If you need any assistance, please let me know. Our fourth grade blog, this houses the same information and it'll bring you right back here. The Media Center website, our media specialist, Ms. Fowler, has been doing some read alouds online and supplying extra information. So make sure you check out those for online book checkouts. There's the counselor blog. They have a bunch of um, resources, books, and things that you can do on there. And then for specials, they have art music PE. There's a bunch of resources that the specialist teachers are uploading for you. So make sure you check those out if you have some additional time. We also have in the content library a week one, week two, and week three overview. They are all structured the exact same. When you open a page, you will see a picture of the week overview. I've also gone in and typed everything out for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. When you go to each day, it's written out exactly as you see above. So you see 20 minutes of reading, 20 minutes of math practice with the specific workbook pages, 45 minutes relatively of USA test prep. Then you will see your freckle assignment, log in through Clever, 15 minutes of a game, that's Prodigy, through freckle there's math fact practice, typing club, or another game of your choice that we've played in class. All of the links are already in there. So all you have to do is click on the underlined link and it'll take you right to where you need to go. All of your login information is in your agenda. Additionally, I've added on Friday a Flipgrid assignment. Your first week is to log into Flipgrid. Your student ID is going to be your username. 
When you log in, there is a welcome video. You can go ahead and post whatever you would like on the welcome video. Luckily, we already know each other and have spent over half a year together, but you can post something um, maybe interesting that you've done so far this week. The second thing is a week one overview. This is a reflection. I want to know how everything has gone so far. So this is what has motivated you. What's been a challenge for you? What would you like to see next week that I can do differently? So go ahead and post your videos there. You will see the same thing for week two, except the assignments are just a little bit different, but the same concept. There will be a Flipgrid at the end of week two as well. And same for week three. Everything is already laid out for you. If you have any trouble with Flipgrid, I went ahead and made directions. When you log into Flipgrid, you can use any web browser, Safari, Chrome, Edge, something else that you have, and go to flipgrid.com. It will look like this. In the upper right or upper left, you will go to enter Flipgrid, join the code, enter your ID, and there you are. I also have directions on how to respond to your videos. You want to go ahead and respond to the prompt that I've given. Click on next. You will be prompted to take a selfie. I think mine's pretty great personally. And then you go ahead and submit your video when you're done. Be creative with these. Have a good time. Also, when you go to your specific pages, I'm going to use this one as an example. You will see your week one, week two, week three. These are going to match what you see already in the content library. However, you won't see as much detail. When you go into it, all you will see is the image. I found this to be pretty interesting. If you go up here to draw at the top, you can select a color, highlighter, pen. I'm gonna do the pen in red. As you go through each day, if you have a touch screen or a tablet that you can write on or even a phone, you can go through and check off as you've done an assignment and it'll save throughout the week. So this is kind of a checklist for you to make sure that you're doing what you need to. I'm going to erase it because I have not completed these assignments for that student, but this is a good way for you to keep track every day of what you have done. So you don't necessarily have to do them in this order, but this is kind of a good guideline to break it up. Remember, you can do some in the morning, some in the afternoon. So that will be available for each week. And if our online learning gets extended longer, I will make sure to add more as well. But remember, everything comes from the content library. So if you have any questions, make sure you check this out. And if you have any other additional questions, let me know.